along this hard road. Um, and I never thought that I would find peace and get to this point. Um, my life has completely just turned around, and I owe it all to God for that. Um, throughout the last, well, I was in um, active addiction for mostly the last 16 years with some breaks here and there. Um, and I had a seed planted. I went to a, a sober living in Wasilla a little over a year ago, and it was a Christian-based sober living. And um, I was around people that were deep in their faith and um, some truly anointed people and they they led me on a different path um, I guess with their help I started to regain my faith again faith in myself and faith in God um, I've always had faith in God but it was just really very deep far down I couldn't really find it, um, and I guess, you know, that seed being planted in Wasilla just really, it set me on a different path, and, um, I struggled a little bit after that, you know, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, um, I knew that I was going to have pickups and, you know, stumble, and I knew that I wasn't just going to be able to get clean and my life was just going to get better if I went to treatment and rehab and found God. I knew that I had to do the work, and, um, you know, the more that I would stumble, the more that I realized that I was chasing that high, that it just wasn't doing anything for me anymore. It, and I felt that way for a long time. It wasn't, it wasn't doing anything but making, you know, m making me darker and making me more hopeless. And, um, so about a year ago, well, it'll be 11 months on December, I finally just bit the bullet and I said, you know what, I'm gonna just, really put my all into this and um, I didn't really talk about it with anybody. My parents didn't really even know that I was trying to really get clean and I kind of just isolated and um, not that that's the best thing to do but I isolated and just really I detoxed and I started studying um, about God and trying to deepen my faith and throughout this whole time God's been with me and all the times that I felt alone like he had given up on me he was just leading me down a path so that I could become stronger and see later that that was meant to be and that I went through that for a reason and um, so I just wanted to read something real quick. It's, uh, Psalm 107, 13 through 16. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away the chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds of mankind. For he breaks down the gates of bronze and cuts through the bars of iron. So that really resonated with me. Um, yeah, my life has completely turned around. Um, <laughs> praise God. Uh, I, I applied for jobs. You know, I was, I had, after I got clean, I got clean on January 1st, 
and um, I had been applying for jobs, but I was just really kind of self-conscious, and it had been a really long time since I held a job in Cordova, and not that I hadn't worked, I've worked a lot in my life, it's just been a long time. Um, I was, you know, it's been about 10 years after my kids got taken and when it got, well not taken, but they got adopted by their aunt and uncle, um, which is amazing. I'm grateful for them, but after that I kind of went into a deep dark hole and um, I just gave up on myself. And that lasted for about four years, four or five years, it was just kind of like wanting to die, like I was using with the intention of like, if I die, I die, kind of deal. And um, so I finally, I finally just made up my mind. I decided that I'm gonna chase God like I chase my addiction and I'm gonna chase this life that I want like my like I chase my addiction. And um, I've been just trying to manifest good things in my life and putting good energy out there and trying to be a good person um, without people seeing, you know, being an honest good person uh, when I'm alone and nobody's watching, I guess I should say. And just having integrity and trying to carry out God's will. And um, so, yeah, I will have 11 months clean on December 1st. And my bosses love me and they're super proud of me. I just got a raise not, um, about a week ago. I got a $5 raise. <laughs> so, uh, that was really cool. And my parents, um, they trust me again, and we have a good relationship. My brother and I have a relationship again. Um, you know, I, I am a different person today, and I just give thanks to God for that. And I thank all of the people in this town who have been there to support me along the way. Um, it's been a tough road, and a lot of you have just stuck by me. and never gave up on me, and I'm so grateful for that. So, thank you. You have a new family. <laughs> that I always wanted to be. Um, and with this, you know, I I I, I gotta admit I was I was so close to just giving up on my daughter because of the pain and the struggle. Um, but I did and it's been beautiful. And I I I'm so proud of you. It, it makes me so happy. Who gives this woman to be baptized? <laughs> <laughs> Who gives this woman to be baptized? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
won't make it. <laughs> Michelle, I'm going to ask you the same question we discussed, all of us here. Do you realize that you're a sinner? Have you repented of those sins? Have you asked Christ to be your Savior? Are you telling God and us today you're going to live for Him? I'm going to live for you, God. And for us too? In front of us. You're going to be an inspiration. Michelle, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you.